Hey guys, Tofsky here, and I'm joined by Jason J100 over here. Jason, wave. <laughs> Thank you. And this is the spellcrafting tutorial that you guys have requested quite a bit for me. So, just to get it this straight, uh, Jason built this, or on top of this tower, put that TNT away, Jason. We can blow it up afterwards. If there's anything, if there's anything left. <laughs> So, basically, this area here will keep us all contained, hopefully, and since we're on creative, we won't burn up in lava. But you do want to have a nice contained area, as you would have seen in the Let's Play if you're following that. If not, this will be your first glimpse at it. But here we go. So, in order to start uh, the spellcrafting, you have to take a crystal stand and place a pure Ventium crystal on top of it. So, I'm just going to do that now. And so here it is. It it floats, it looks pretty cool and mysterious. And it kind of spins, which is pretty neat. I mean, it's a pretty nice effect. And the best part about spellcrafting is if you haven't taken a look at this yet, if you end up going into any any to do anything in Minecraft, you have to open up a window and then you have to place blocks in it. And it's very I mean, it works. But it could be quite a bit of a mess, as Jason is nodding. So, spellcrafting is actually quite a bit different. I'm going to actually create a spell in a second here. Um, let me just quickly switch this around. Okay, so if I go here to create a spell, uh, first thing I want to do to activate this is I want to place a spell parchment and just right click the crystal with it. Now this is the cool part is I'm not actually using a window to craft anything. I'm getting this, well, there's this pretty cool effect going on. If I actually fly out, you could see it a lot better. But so you, there's a bunch of particles spinning around and you can see the spell parchment floating up there. So as we start throwing spells in, the one thing we want to do is we want to actually stabilize the vortex. There's a spell called Stabilize Vortex. When you cast it at the crystal, it will stabilize. Now, obviously, Jason's here helping me because the more spells you put in, the more you have uh, a chance of having something bad happen. So, for example, your crystal could blow up and kill you. <laughs> What, did you think there's not going to be a consequence when you're dealing with powerful magic? But no, continuing on, basically it's just a way to make sure everything's stable and make sure everything works correctly. So if I were to start throwing spells in here, I'm going to actually create a custom spell with my bound sword and life drain. I'm basically creating a spell where I'll have a bound sword out and every time I hit an enemy, it will drain their life, giving me some extra health. So it's a pretty cool idea. So in order to do this, you just grab your spell. And you just simply right-click it on the crystal. And you'll notice I'm getting pushed around. Like, I'm not actually doing this. I'm trying to actually stay right by the crystal. And that's because the crystal is not... 100% stable and now I'm getting pushed around. So if I start stabilizing this and Jason ends up helping me here, we will see that now I'm not moving around anymore. Crystal's stable. Everything's working correctly. Also, if you look, you'll see the particles have changed. Now I'm going to throw a life drain in here and try to stabilize. You can see the, the particles change again. Now there's actually two different particles. The particles actually represent the different affinities of the spells that you're putting in. So we've got two two spells, so there's two different particles. Each part each spell is a different affinity. And so there's these two spells I wanted to cast in there. Now, in order to finalize the recipe and create a new spell scroll, I have to throw a pure essence in. So there we go. I'll make you a copy too, Jason. Just so you have one. Uh... And I did that wrong. 
So at any time during spell crafting, if you want to cancel out, you just right click the crystal and you'll get your spell parchment back. So here we go. The one thing you might want to note is that I'm actually casting my sword spell on no uh, normal casting mode. And really, it doesn't really matter what I'm casting life drain on. I am casting it on augmented, but it doesn't really matter. That, that scroll's yours. The big thing behind what I, when I was casting my, my sword on normal is if you actually cast the spell on normal, it will... And I'll use that as your base. So if, if I actually cast them both or craft them both on augmented, it would probably just mix up and think that, oh, well, your base spell is life drain and I wouldn't actually have a cool sword. So because, because I actually want the sword to be my main spell, I cast the sword on normal and I cast the, the life drain on augmented. Now, if I actually hover over this, you'll, uh, you'll see which spells I've actually combined. So... This is Sancta Theoria, which is the default name of a custom spell. It is a bound sword nor, uh, at normal strength and life drain at augmented. So the one thing you can do is, since it's just like any other item in Minecraft, you can go ahead and throw it on an anvil. Let me just throw an anvil up here. And you could just name it. So if I really want to call mine uh, Life Stealing Sword, I can do that. So I got my Life Stealing Sword spell now right over here. And when I cast it, it still works just as normal. So just to demonstrate, there's some hostile mobs down here. Jason, feel free to join. And if I attack, you can see that it's actually casting the the uh, spell and I'm actually getting health from them or I would be getting health if I wasn't in creative so that's how just combining a few of these spells works uh, this is a very basic one yet useful uh, I'm trying to keep it a bunch of useful spells that I would generally combine in this tutorial but that's just a simple example so now to continue on, let me just put my sword away, and I'm going to move on to a new spell here. So I am moving on to the this custom spell. So that was a the uh, sword spell was an attack spell. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite. Uh, utility spells. So let's start crafting again. And you might want to start stabilizing right away. This can get really ugly because I'm combining three spells here. So I'm going to combine haste. And it is throwing me up and into lava. <laughs> Don't have lava in your spell uh, laboratories. I'd highly recommend against it. So I'm also putting Swift Swim in here. And just got to stabilize. Okay. And Agility. So Jason, you can grab that one and I'm going to make one more of it. Okay, get ready with the... Yep. Okay, stabilize... Just a bit longer. Yeah. Really getting thrown about. Okay. And agility. And there we go. So did I get it? Yes, I did. So if I hover over this, this is, once again, Sancta Theoria, which I'm going to name. And because this is a combination of haste, which makes you run faster... Agility, which makes you run faster, jump higher, and walk over one uh, one block gaps. And Swift Swim, which makes you swim faster. I'm going to call this, I don't know, Speedy Gonzalez. Which I totally spelt wrong, and I don't care. 
So once again, if I want to test this out, here's me running at normal speed. If I want to cast this, uh, you will notice I'm not actually running faster because I made a mistake and should have cast them all at normal, but you can see my agility is working. I'm able to automatically walk up one gap, uh, one block gaps, and I can jump higher. And if there was water around, which there isn't, uh, the swift swim effect here would kick in, and I'd be able to swim ridiculously fast. So, I mean, we can always throw some water down later to demo that, but... Yep, thank you. So there we go. And let me cast this one more time. Wow, climbing up water is not fun. But yeah, if I start running through this water, you'll see that I just start moving ridiculously quick. So that's the combination of Basically, my favorite travel spell. Uh, uh, do you want to copy? Do you want mine? Try it out. Okay. Well, let's try making a third spell. So now, there's one new thing that you'll want to make note of, and... That is that you can have custom rune spells. So I'm going to make one right now. So I'm going to place fire rune on there. And once we stabilize this, I'm going to place jump. And I'm going to create this spell. Now, just to demo what this spell does, I just cast it on the ground. So go ahead and hit that, Jason. So yes, I basically just created a rune, and it'll cast Jump on whoever touches it. So this can be very useful if you want, want to, uh, if you want to have basically a bunch of different things happen. I want to get up here, but I don't want to actually cast Jump. I want to just, let's say I want Jason and I to both be able to get up there. So I, we could do something like this. And clearly Jason has not played with this before <laughs> because... He did not know about it. So, <laughs> it's quite a useful thing to have. And here. You can jump all you want. It's like a trampoline. <laughs> but, that's not all. If I, That was just jump. And if you notice this rune, it's actually different than the regular fire rune. Regular fire rune looks like that. Now, if I were to combine basically another spell of a different type, so let's say I wanted to combine a different affinity spell. So I think flight is air affinity. So let's combine flight with it. We should get a different rune symbol. And one thing you might notice is when I do switch to Stabilize Vortex, I am casting it on Augmented. That's because it is always safer to cast on Augmented if you can afford it. Now, which one is it? Okay, it's this one. So let's cast a, let's place down a rune that'll cast Flight on you. Ah, it seems to have the same symbol. So if I hit it, you can see I've got now the Flight buff for... <laughs> For two and three quarter minutes, so. Of course, flight's absolutely useless on creative, but it's something that's very useful if you're making, I don't know, some sort of Ars Magica adventure map or something. It could be very useful. Now, the last thing I want to try, I haven't even tried this yet, but I'm kind of curious now. I'm going to create, well, I guess four more spells. One for each of us here. But they are going to be rune spells. And as you see, I've picked up Divine Intervention and Ender Intervention. So I'm going to try to create runes that will teleport me to a different dimension. I have not tried this before, but it's worth a try. 
So just put that in and divine intervention. So let's make one more copy of that. Okay, and stabilize. And define intervention. Okay, Jason, go grab that one. And let's make the ender intervention one first before you do anything. Just so we are able to go back and forth, if this does work. So there's the rune spell. Ender intervention. And one for you. Throw Ender Intervention in there. Okay, go for it. And now I'm going to name mine because I will get confused. And I'm going to kind of call this one Divine Rune and Ender Rune. So if I go down here, I should be able to cast Divine Rune. And it doesn't work. Well, nobody said it was perfect. <laughs> Ender Rune. So there's a ton of effects. And of course, this is still a work in progress mod, so... Myth might have to uh, take a look at them, but I, I'm sure Myth hasn't tested every single combination. I haven't tested every single combination, but there's a few that obviously are my personal favorites so far. Things like just having haste and frozen path and then running across the ocean is just another thing that I like to do. <laughs> but the possibilities are endless. It's, it's basically... Ars Magica comes with, I believe, 107 different spells to begin with. And on top of that, you can now customize up to, I believe, five different combinations of spells in the crystal. Then your possibilities, you could technically have millions of different variants considering you can have different, different uh, casting levels. Diminished, normal, or augmented. Well, it looks like, Jason, we're not quite ready yet. Come over here for the, for a sec, though. And let's just go over to this far tower. And let's show off what happens if we do not stabilize the crystal. So I'm going to set up another crystal here. And as I have said, bad things happen. So... Jason, just start casting some random spells in there. Whatever you got on you is fine. Don't bother stabilizing. Well, I got teleported into the ground. And I saw the massive explosion. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, you really don't want to be there. You really have to be careful when you're de dealing with this. So you could see massive explosion and lots of fire everywhere. So that was just two of the n nasty effects that can happen. The explosion and the teleporting randomly. If you get teleported up high, you'll die. If you fall, unless you have Ars Magica boots or something. There's also, you can lose spells that you already know. So be sure to Yes, you could be teleported into the nether. I forgot about that one. I always forget about that one. So, you got to be careful. Of course, it is pretty dangerous. Anyway, I think this is the end, Jason. If you want to uh, prep this and I'll light it the only way I know how. What? Come on, do it the fun way. Oh, wait. Wrong spell. <laughs> and just 
See how much you can get before it lights. Come on. Maybe it doesn't strike near us. Of course, the only time you don't that you want TNT to light, it won't. expand it. And now I'll cast. Come on. Oh, it, it just missed it. Oh, there we go. And it went out. <laughs> it went out. I, I didn't let off fast enough. Oh, I used the lever. You know, sadly, I think the crystal exploding caused more f more damage than the TNT exploding. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that has been the uh, spellcrafting tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Also, if you're new to the channel, please check out my other videos. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you next time. See you later. Mwahahahahaha. Ah. Ah. <laughs> nice. Wow. Ah. I think it needs a bit of persuasion. Or it just was lagged out. <laughs> There's like nothing left of the tower. <laughs> this is awesome.